Hi Big Lap Bible, I'm Julie. I'm Stu. I'm Jess. And I'm Izzy. And we are from Van and Oz. We are a Gold Coast family on our second lap around Australia. And we're travelling in a majestic navigator and we've got a 200 series Land Cruiser. All right, we'll give you a look. All right, we are pulled up in the Port Lincoln National Park, which is a beautiful spot, and I will show you inside. I'll try and uh, keep this quick so you don't fall asleep. Um, yeah, nice, bright and airy van. We really like the big windows. Um, cupboards, Stu has one side, I have the other. These are all pretty basic little plastic shelves help keep things all sorted. We really like the front window, we didn't have that on our other van. Yeah, front window, the bigger the skylight, the better. I reckon this one's actually pretty small. Um, I've got a quick look under the bed. It lifts up um, very easy. A few extra clothes, air fryer, toaster kettle is under there. When we go off grid, we just um, we'll swap piles of food under there. We've actually put a full-size queen mattress on that, uh, which yeah, has been really good. Yeah, this is just our mattress from home. We're both quite tall. Um, just give you a quick look inside one of the drawers. So I just carry four of everything, so we're not having to keep washing stuff. That's a good thing for the cutlery. It just keeps gives you a bit more space in your drawer. Um, under the sink, just have everything in containers because it all moves around. Having really good latches on your on your um, all your cupboards and, and doors and stuff are really important with your um, sort of on the on the corrugations and which um, this van has. This was a really rude blue colour, so I've just put some stuff on tiles there that work kind of well. These little shelves are all like fusion lock ones from Bunnings. It's um, a handy to have around the place. All right, I'll show you down the other end. Oh, this is just from Kmart. That's handy to have all your stuff like kid stuff and things. These little stickers are just from Big W. They're only like they're all, well, they're special but 50 cents each so you can peel them on and off. Um, this is the girls bunks. So we have oh, Jess and Izzy. Um, yeah, we, this is actually a three bunk van. We took the mattress off the bottom bunk and just piled it with stuff basically. But yeah, the kids are happy there. They've got some little baskets just at the end of their bed just to store their stuff and some photos. Give you a quick look in their cupboard. Again, just everything in baskets so it doesn't move around. This um, wiping's kind of handy, just gives you a bit more space. Uh, we do have a washing machine in there, which I don't know, some people rate it, some people don't. I do, we use it heaps, especially I guess with kids. It's nice and bright and airy, just again, everything up here is in plastic containers. This is another fusion lock towel rack, which is kind of useful. Uh, look in the shower. It's just like a shower caddy. All these little, when you're looking at a van, the more vents and things, the better, I reckon. Get airflow. Um, but yeah, that pretty much sums up everything inside, I reckon. Navigator van, um, it's 2018 December, um, second hand van, uh, another family owned it before us. Um, it's, it's an off road van, so an independent suspension, fairly big all terrain tyres. Uh, we wanted that um, and a fairly decent size um, chassis to keep it all together when we go on some of the rougher roads around Australia. We're towing it with a, just a pretty stock standard 200 series Land Cruiser, which we had on our last lap as well. It does have airbag suspension in the back, but um, sort of no other um, extras or options. We do put a little solar panel on the roof to get the fridge running. Um, the van's really good. I mean, pretty standard tunnel boot storage. We love the storage on the front for tools and um, big mats and all that sort of stuff. Got a bit of extra um, fuel capability to carry. Um, we have the uh, off-road hitch on, on here. We had that on our last van, which we quite like. Being that it's a big van, we get a huge um, living area outside with the awning. Um, the awning does have all the anti clap stuff, we haven't got that on at the moment. Um, we've got a spare tyre on the back um, and the bike rack on the back for the kids' bikes. We didn't bring our bike this time. Um, we carry 200 litres of water, 200 litre tanks, um, and it's got a grey water tank. Uh, two 110 amp hour batteries, which is heaps for um, all the stuff we need it for with a couple of solar panels to keep that charged up. Um, Weber that slides out of our tunnel bit, which we really like for outdoor cooking as well. 
Um, it tows really, really well. It is a big van, um, but we just didn't want to be restricted by what van we had as to where we where we go. We like to be able to go on the on the rough roads, to the beach camps, and that sort of stuff. So um, that's why we've chosen a van that's fairly sort of heavy duty. It is quite heavy. Weighs in about well, probably three three point two ton when it's fully loaded up. But we're really happy with it so far. We've had it for three months, um, and we're hoping it gets to all over Australia again. <laughs> that's it.